Oh, good morning. And uh, a couple of months ago, Mr. Super Chitty, Owen, said there's some very good MDF buildings on eBay. And he told me about this farmhouse complex. And um, it was up for £35. And I managed to get it for 25 including postage, which I was very happy about. Uh, as you can see, we've got three buildings. In fact, it comes with four. That's the, oh, the fourth little one there, which is meant to go into this corner here. Uh, but it just looked a bit too, um, a bit too busy. So I've dropped that building out. Um, I'm very pleased with it. It's quite a large uh, base. The base is about 18 by 13 inches. And um, yes, it does look nice once it's completed. The, now the buildings themselves uh, came with some, a number of windows on the outer walls. And uh, this is primarily for my horse and musket uh, collection. So I thought, well, wall files are wall for a reason. That's to keep people out. So what I've done here is I've filled the windows and the doors. Um, likewise with this rear area here, I left one window in, but there's eight windows down this side. Uh, four on the top, four on the bottom. And uh, I didn't think that looked quite right. Same with this one, had I think a window there and two or three windows down that side. Um, but once they were filled in, and I found the best way to fill those in, was if you can see on this one, cut a piece of card behind the apertures, and uh, it's a lot easier to fill in that way. It takes a bit of time, but so what I did then was filled in the windows, then rubbed it all down with a bit of sandpaper, and then rendered the buildings with some polyfiller or household filler type. Uh, the groundwork again is just a bit of filler and sand. I wanted to keep it a, very, a fairly retro style uh, complex that you see you, you used to see in magazines. Um, the the roofs, as you can see with the spare building, came like that. But if you go onto the wall bases website, you can buy tiles, uh, which I did there. I don't know if I've got any spare. Um, what do I do with that? Oh, there it is. They come like this. So you just cut away and starting at the bottom, work upwards. They do give you a, a separate section to cover the top. Um, make sure you get enough if you buy uh, this model. But all in all, it was um, a week well spent. I thought it was quite therapeutic. It was something different than painting figures. All for 28 mil, as you can see by the command stands. These, the board itself, the sorry, the base, comes in two sections, as you can see there. And the buildings, I've kept separate. That's purely because I can use these buildings then in bolt action, and it's a lot easier to um, put away. I'm not too sure if I've got enough space in the shelves at the moment to put these buildings, uh, but at least I can put the, these base sections away in the box. I haven't painted, as you can see, I haven't painted the insides because I'm a bit of a lazy bugger sometimes. And um, yes, so that's it. Happy with that and hopefully um, it'll get around out soon. I, th I think um, the uh, gaming season is not too far away. Fingers crossed. Anyway, thanks for watching.